You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the great success of Bahrain Sports Day was achieved because of the royal support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In addition to His Majesty's directives of activating initiatives aimed at motivating all segments of society to adopt positive practices that establish the highest principles and values, making sports a daily lifestyle. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for allocating half a working day for sports activities, marking the Bahraini Sports Day, as well as His Royal Highness's directives to all ministries and government agencies to organize events that motivate and encourage all Bahraini people and residents in the kingdom to practice sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the support of First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the activities of the Sports Day and His Highness's keenness to follow up on all procedures which contributed to achieving the great success of the events and reach the goals for which they were found in spreading the concepts of sports and making it a daily lifestyle. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the relentless efforts that were exerted by the Bahrain Sports for All Federation under the chairmanship of Mr. Isa Mohammed Abdul Rahim. His Highness also expressed his appreciation to the efforts of the Supreme Organizing Committee and all concerned parties, commending on the cooperation of all government institutions, the private sector, and the educational sectors to make the day a success. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Hosea bint Abdullah Zainan, and her Egyptian counterpart, Chancellor Dr. Hanafi Ali Al Gabali, co chaired a Bahrain Egyptian session of talks at the premises of the Representative Council. Zainan has affirmed that the depth of the solid, long standing relations between Bahrain and Egypt, as well as their steady progress thanks to their deep partnership and coordination in all fields, in light of the interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. Speaker Zainan lauded the level of bilateral cooperation and coordination across various development fields praising the keenness of the Bahraini government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and its Egyptian counterpart led by Dr. Mustafa Madbouli to broaden joint cooperation in order to achieve the interests of the two countries and their people. The two sides discussed ways to enhance parliamentary relations between the two countries in addition to the mechanisms to develop joint action and activate the Memorandum of Understanding and Agreement signed by the two councils. They also exchanged points of view vis-a-vis -vis regional and global issues of mutual interest. She valued highly Egypt Egypt's firm supportive stances towards Bahrain's security and stability, in addition to their joint efforts in combating extremism, violence and terrorism, and rejecting external interference in the internal affairs of countries. She commended the distinguished efforts made by Egypt to support joint Arab parliamentary cooperation, especially in light of the Bahraini-Egyptian parliamentary consensus, in promoting programs and projects, as well as exchanging experiences and expertise in various fields. For his part, Chancellor Dr. Hanafi affirmed that the visit provides an opportunity to bolster cooperation between the two brotherly countries in various fields, especially the parliamentary, economic and investment ones, through activating the joint parliamentary friendship committees to serve the interests of the two brotherly countries. The Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives affirmed that thanks to the wisdom of the leadership, Bahrain has become an oasis of security, development, coexistence and peace in the region, lauding the depth of the Bahraini-Egyptian relations, citing their solidarity, cooperation and constant coordination regarding various regional and global developments. Earlier yesterday, the Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal welcomed a high-level Egyptian parliamentary delegation led by the Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives, Chancellor Dr. Hanafi Ali El Gabali, upon their arrival at the Bahrain International Airport. The Egyptian parliamentary delegation is on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain at the invitation of Speaker Fawziya Zainal. The visit crowns the deep-rooted, solid fraternal relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the progress they are witnessing at all levels and in all fields. The visiting high-level Egyptian parliamentary delegation was also welcomed upon arrival by several MPs, representative councils, secretary general, and the Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh received today the Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives, Chancellor Dr. Hanafi Ali al Gabali, and his accompanying delegation. The Shura Council Chairman underlined strong and growing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. He praised growing cooperation between the two brotherly countries and common keenness to achieve the interests of both countries and people. Al Saleh also commended the advanced level of bilateral parliamentary cooperation and common keenness 
readiness to boost parliamentary diplomacy. The Shirk Council chairman praised the efforts made by Egypt to maintain Arab unity and achieve comprehensive peace in the region, lauding the great development in Egypt under its wise leadership. For his part, Chance Chancellor Dr. Al-Gabali took pride in the advanced level of the Bahraini-Egyptian relations, stressing keenness to achieve common aspirations. He praised the development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and concerted efforts to promote the kingdom's standing at the Arab, regional and international levels. In the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Vice President of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized this afternoon the 20th race of this season. The race, which included eight rounds, was held on the BBK Cups, the Bahrain Gas Company, Benagas Cup, and the Irish Racing Horse Marketing Company's Cup. The events took place on the club's racetrack in the Rafah area in Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race, and an audience of equestrian and horse racing enthusiasts. The winners of the BBK Cups were crowned as the CEO of BBK Group, Dr. Abdurrahman Saif, presented the third round cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the sixth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and the first round cup to the winner, Yusuf Tahar. The General Manager of Retail Banking Services at BBK, Dr. Adil Salim, presented the fourth round cup to the winner, Harab Al Maliki, while the CEO of Credit Max, Ahmed Siadi, presented the fifth round cup to the winning owner, Abdullah Fawzi Nas. The CEO of the Irish Horse Marketing Company, Gallers O'Neill presented the seventh round cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, while the General Manager of Administrative and Financial Affairs at Benegas Company, Dr. Ahmed Al Kabi, presented the eighth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has developed its experiences in the field of child care in order to achieve the vision of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and under the supervision of His Majesty's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, according to a strategy that adopts the highest standards of quality and excellence. During their visit to a children's home care in the Jordanian capital, Amman, the RHF delegation was briefed on the shelter services such as food, clothing, provided to orphan children, victims of families of disintegration and violence. During the tour, the RHF Secretary General exchanged talks with the children about the services provided that contribute in rehabilitating them and helping them build a better future through motivating them to be more determined to achieve their goals and ambitions. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF delegation, has visited Bahrain's basic school, which is located at Abu Nasir in Amman, Jordan, following directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The delegation took stock of the humanitarian and relief projects implemented by the Kingdom of Bahrain for Syrian refugees. With the support of the government, chaired by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The relief projects are also supervised and followed up by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad. Al Khalifa. Built on an area covering 10,000 square meters, the school has a constructed surface of 2,135 square meters to accommodate over 900 students. The delegation, which includes a number of volunteers, also visited Bahrain Basic School for Girls and the Governorate of Irbid, accommodating kindergarten, primary, intermediate, and secondary students. The solar powered school comprises of 18 classrooms, three science labs, and a computer lab. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, affirmed that the enlightened vision of His Majesty the King has made Bahrain an oasis of coexistence based on the foundations of citizenship, justice, equality, and equal opportunities. Al Asumi added that the consolidation of national belonging in the kingdom is the main pillar of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King, lauding in this regard the project of promoting citizenship and human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which aims at raising students in schools with values of citizenship and respect for diversity and difference. Al Asumi was speaking during his participation as a key note speaker in the 32nd International Conference organized by the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs at the Egyptian Ministry of Endowments, which was held under the patronage of the Egyptian president, entitled The Citizenship Contract and Its Impact on Achieving Societal and Global Peace. The conference was attended by a number of ministers, scholars and thinkers from Arab and Islamic countries and various countries around the world.
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,227,305 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,197,343 had taken the second, and 950,713 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 58,404 with 7,425 recoveries, 5,750 registered new cases and two deaths. There are 100 active cases receiving treatment, 23 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,421 total deaths, while 394,091 have recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.